hello, I'm going to draw a picture, as I often do. I'm going to use various different cheaty tools to help me do it, as you can see. And um, just decided for a change that I'd just do something really simple and straightforward. Nothing, no bells, no whistles, something I really enjoy doing, which is um, sort of two little high metal content moons. They were binary, they were really close together. And uh, last last evening's gameplay, I ended up um, selling some night I think it was a, a fleet carrier and this fleet carrier was orbiting these these binary moons and they looked just just lovely like like just potatoes little jacket potatoes fresh out of the oven swirling round each other in the blackness of space so I thought well I'll, I'll try and draw them and, and and one of the most enjoyable things about drawing planets is is making them look round and I, I really I like the simple things of, of making something look round there's there's a there's a delight and a pleasure in doing something that straightforward and simple. I used to teach art, I taught it for loads of years, big secondary school. And um, one of the first things we'd do when they'd reach us, all shiny and brightly washed uniforms, they'd be to get them to draw little geometric shapes. And uh, always like the cylinder and the spheres were my favorite things doing. And I, I get immense pleasure of looking at these, these Dozens of pictures of, of round things, <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots of round things and cylinders and showing the light shining off. And we, the classroom I used to teach in had a wall of glass instead of a wall of the classroom. So you'd get these, these really sharp directional light shining on things, depending on where the people were as they sat doing these pictures, you'd get this bright light coming from different angles. And it was always really interesting. Anyway, well, you know, to me, because I like looking at things like that. Anyway, yes, so I'm colouring in various bits of this with brighter tones. They all get knocked back a bit, but I needed it to be a bit punchy to start out with before I started um, to put in the more, the browner shades because you want some sort of tones to glow through because it, it did look grey, but there was a real purplish sheen. Here's a couple of, um, here's a couple of shots of it. I didn't do tons of videoing in this. This is me doing the other planet now, the other moon now. I didn't do tons of video at this, partly because um, my memory card ran out of space halfway through and partly because I seem to have an issue with battery power at the moment. I've got a feeling that I'm killing my batteries on my camera by leaving them in the charger. So you can see I've got the basic sort of colours and the, the flat surfaces of the moon's done and then then it's time to sort of start to show the uh, the texture the 3d surfaces so that really means just using some contrast so you've got like darker blobs which have got a little highlighted bit at the top and then and then showing the shadow that they cast or a dark patch around it to sort of bring them forward a little bit so if you've got the, the right colors in in the background first and then you start to um, pick out like this craters and things with with them um, contrasting colors so to show the shade and the light of it all and and the right hand side of all of these the both of these moons it's, it's a little darker and one of them is in in shadow on the right hand side and the other one seems to be pretty much in light all the way across it but it is certainly a little darker on that right hand side so I kind of sort of showed more sharp contrast as though that the light is hitting the side of the rocks that's what the picture looked like that I was copying sort of like in more harsh you know when you've got the half moon and you see those sharply depicted craters right on the cusp of it becoming in in shadow that's sort of the thing that you can kind of do to give the effect of something receding away from you to make it look more spherical make it look more round so I'm using brighter more bold colors and contrasts and things to try and calm sort of smoother colors in, on the bit that's got the light shining on it so I didn't look there's a bit more knobbliness I'm trying to show there didn't um go mad and decide to video me just coloring in the black and doing the stars because I've done that in tons of pictures and it never varies it is basically just deciding which bit of the Milky Way is brown which bit of the Milky Way is purple the peachy white bit in the center and then um, blending it together to give the effect of the the clouds of uh, dust. Just uh, pop on a frosty little ice cap there. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll probably do another one in a day or two. Bye.